Herald, I want us to look at VBA, that is Visual Basic for Application. And to begin with, we need to have an overview of VBA. So basically, we shall use Microsoft Access for this session. So we shall begin by starting uh, a folder. So we sh shall start a folder. This folder, we can just call it uh, Visual Basic for application for application VBA then I will open the folder then inside the folder we shall create a Microsoft Access uh, database so we shall go to new then go to where Microsoft Access database is then we can just call it a uh, visual uh, visual basic basic for application tutorial remember in this session we shall create a we shall use a school management system as a case study so i open this one by double clicking once i double click like this there is no way you can run vba without actually having the skill of creating a table in Microsoft Access, then later on creating a form and a report from the same. Not necessarily you create queries, but queries will be by the way. So here, you just go to create up here. Then once you go to create, you go to table design. This is the Microsoft Access table design. We usually have the field name, data type, and description. And for the case, description is optional. So here, we can just start by creating admission number the admission number of the student admission admission number remember during programming you'll notice that uh, as we go to vba side it is important to avoid the space so you can see admission number i'm trying to avoid space so here data type can be text then right click set the primary key the primary key is a special field that cannot accept duplicates a field that cannot be left blank and it is actually unique it uniquely identifies the field so you shall have the admission number then you can have the student uh, the student the student name of which it is text so here we can have the student uh, that is the student class uh, student class and sometime class can be number like one two three so these are the data types we have in microsoft access this time around we use number then we can have the student stream north east west south uh, depending on the number of the streams student uh, stream then stream can be text and for that case sometimes you may opt to type the streams here uh, but for this case let's have it that way then you can have current here uh, current here you have the current here the current here is number and we want the system to automatically uh, pick today's or the current here so you click on the current here then here we have field properties these ones field properties are actually the characteristics of the field and these ones you can refer them as a variable a memory location that can store a value so this is a variable student name is a variable admission number is a variable it's just a memory location set to uh, to say uh, to keep a value so we have the current here the current here you just go to default value here you notice that um, the default value here it is a value that is automatically entered in this field for new records so here you get the explanation of everything that you do so the current year here we want it to see to be 2024 so just go to this point here you can uh, probably opt to set the year the year you put the bracket date then uh, cross the bracket that way let's first of all see what that one does so you click on the save button this is student you call it student student details student details so i click on okay then we can just go to home and click on view to see you see now 
this one takes 2024. So I go back, go to home, click the design view. This uh, pencil ruler and a set square. It's called the design view. You hit on it. It takes you back to the design mode. So here we have the current here. You see what I have done. This is the function here, date. Then you open the bracket and cross, then cross the whole thing. This one will pick. When we go to 2025, it will automatically uh, update that one to 2025. So we have this one. Then we have the semester. The semester. This is the semester. The semester uh, can be semester one, blah, 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 blah. So those are the semester or the student. So basically these are the, then you can, you can also have the photo of the student or passport, 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 photo. Passport photo, in photo, we use attachment data type. So I will click on attachment. That is the attachment data type. And you can have comments or remarks or any other information. Any other information. Just type remarks. But, um... Once I type remark here, I want it to be a sentence or a paragraph, so I use memo. This is a wrong text uh, in other applications. So you can use wrong text or memo. Uh, we have short text and uh, wrong text. The difference is the number of characters that can be accommodated. So I also wish to show you something. When now I save this one and double click, you notice that uh, here I get remarks. But I want this one displayed as any other information. So I go back home. I click on design view. So I click on the remarks field. I go to the field properties here. I go to where caption is. Here caption. You see now, caption is the label uh, for the field when used on a form. So here I just click on the uh, uh, caption and type any other information. Information. So any other information. And then I click on save. So when I go home and view, you notice that this comes any other information. That is the caption. But when I go back to the design mode, I use remarks in my programming. I do not use any other information. That is just to help me display or to help the customer or the user of the system understand more. That is as far as that one is concerned. So you can still have the parents contacts or the county. Okay, you have you can have the county um, here or location. So for the county, I need it to be displayed at location, location, uh, location stroke state, stroke state. So I save that one. So when I run this one, uh, if I run this one here, I get that uh, I have location location stroke state instead of the uh, whatever here. So you can see this one, the caption is very crucial uh, in that uh, it helps you to display otherwise. But during programming, I use these ones that uh, don't have so many characters. So this one you can just uh, explain uh, that this is the location, location or state where the student comes from comes from so the description which is optional can be used to explain more about the the field that's the variable or the field name so this is the table we have here uh, about the the student any other information you can just come later on and add here you can add here like for example the student can be taking some units you can have unit one like that uh, the, the, you can just copy this. So we copy this. We have, uh, we have unit two. Uh, we have unit three. We have unit four. We have unit five, like that. Then these ones can be used uh, to. Uh, let's say you can also have unit six. six. You can have unit seven like that. Then, let's say, for example, a student picks three units. So this one's, you, you are, oh, sorry, this is the county text. So this one, you can just set yes, no. Data type, later on, you'll understand uh, how VBA will be used to select the subjects. So this this basically the information where a student can have the, uh, the this one here. 
So guys, uh, after doing that, I can just save this one. This is the first table. It will be very useful in our work. Then we can also have another table, create table design. I have another table here now. This is the, the examination uh, capture table. Uh, so I can just have the exam, can just have the exam admission number. The admission number of the student will be duplicated here. And since we need a primary key, I said the primary key is a unique field that uh, identifies the table. We can have the serial number. Serial number. That one will not be so important, only that it will allow us to have the uh, the the laboring the laboring of the field. So we can have automatic number. Automatic number will be one, two, three, four, blah 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 blah. So we can have that one. Then we shall have the the exam the exam stream. And the exam class, sorry. The exam class. This is where the class will be duplicated. This is number. Then we shall have the exam stream. The stream from the student will be duplicated here. Then we shall have the exam. That is the exam here. The exam here. The exam here. The exam here will be duplicated here. This is number. Then here we shall also have now the units max. Uh, we can have now the units max. You can just call it the exam. Uh, the, that is the exam. To avoid the confusion, the exam unit 1. So we shall just copy this to have the max here. So we shall copy this. I shall paste exam unit 2. We shall have exam unit 3. We shall have the exam unit 4. We shall have the exam unit 5. We shall have the exam unit 6 shall have the exam unit 7. I think we have 7. Then you can also have the exam uh, unit, uh, the exam total. The exam total uh, here. Then we shall have the exam uh, the exam grade here. So exam total here can be number. Also this one will be number number data types because uh, we shall expect the 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 system to uh, to grade. So the same case here. This is the exam grade. The exam uh, mini grade. This is the exam uh, mini grade. So on the other hand, somebody may opt to have these units graded. Every unit to have a grade. So we shall have, we can have them down here. Exam unit, uh, unit uh, one grade. Uh, we can also have exam unit 2 grade. We shall have exam unit 3 grade. That's, that's G stands for grade. Exam unit 4 grade. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Grade. Then we shall have uh, the next one. Exam grade 5. That is unit 5 grade. We shall have exam unit 6 grade. Exam unit 7 grade, uh, like that. Then we shall have now the mini grade. The mini grade will be overall. Remember, grades are text. So here you can just tell the user that G uh, stands for grade, for grade, like that. So uh, whoever will be reading this, then here this one, this one you can just tell the, the user that uh, 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 this is the final uh, average. Average grade for for units done like that. You can now see the importance of the description. So this is our our second table and very crucial table. So you can just save it as uh, exams exams uh, details. So this is the the tables that will be. Uh, used these are the tables that uh, will be used both this one this is the we have the the parent table this is the parent table the parent table uh let me just go home and sign it the parent table contains information that will never change like for example once you capture the student name the student name will not change but in the child table that is the exams table you'll notice that um uh, exams will keep on changing as the semester change so this is basically our first part that uh, 
uh, includes creation of the tables. Before we proceed, uh, remember our session is about Visual Basic for application. So later on, we shall be doing coding uh, once we, uh, we, we reach to where coding should be done. But before we go to coding, we need to go to queries. Remember, once you create a table, uh, you may need to query or ask questions. You want to post questions uh, to, uh, to the system. So basically, um, basically you need to, uh, to do something on this. Eh? Uh, let me just close this one. Then we reopen it again. So we open our table again here. So our table, uh, sorry, our database consists of two tables. So we create a query. Just go to create. Remember here we have tables, queries, forms, reports, macros, and codes. There. This is now where the visual basic for application comes on. But you have to start from your left hand side. So we go to queries. To create a query, just hit on query in design view. Double click the first table. Double click the second table. You can rearrange the tables by dragging and dropping. And also by pulling this to see all the units. You see now I can be in a position to see all the units that are, are here. So I start by double clicking this to rearrange them here so double click i just double click all of them because i need all of them i need all of them i don't need photos there so just double click as you double click the fields will be aligned so you can just uh, drag here to see the fields so i go again to this one i have the admission number i have the class streams arranged here like that that so we go ahead you want to see all of them inserted here so we are in unit two grid three four five six remember if you don't uh, align it here you'll get an error code parameter value so make sure you are very keen so this is my query i just save it as master i, I save it as master master query master q that is master query so guys you can realize that um i have combined the two tables using a query that is one function of a query so the next thing here i'll introduce you to something called joins joins just joining together bringing together so i'll inform i'll tell microsoft access or i'll instruct microsoft access engine that whenever i choose a field from the mother table should be duplicated to the uh, child table just by dragging or rather it's like i'm creating a master relationship so i'll take admission number to admission number you see admission number to admission number then i double click once i double click i reuse option number two include all records from student details that is the parent table and only those from the child table that is exam table where the joint fields are equal so just practice on that you see now i will create an arrow from the parent table facing to the child table again i go to, to student class i take it to exam class do the same double click use option number two uh -huh, like that then go to student stream take it to exam stream double click option number two okay then current here to exams here double click option number two that is include all from the parent table you see now from here i just save now visual basic for application later on will be in a position to execute the joins by duplicating data using coding so i'm trying to take you step by step so that whenever we now go to coding you'll be in a position to come up with a with a system uh, from scratch by creating the tables by creating the queries and then using VBA on forms, which will be now our next session, uh, whereby I will now show you how the VBA now comes in once we create a form. So uh, remember to practice on this. And once you are comfortable enough, you can now proceed to the next video. Thank you very much. Remember to subscribe.